Hi, welcome. This is the Puda C240. Uh, it's a stretched X frame. Just going to have a quick uh, first look at it. First and foremost, it comes in a quite unusual packing. Uh, quite like that. This looks quite familiar though, as does the frame. I couldn't quite put my finger on it when I originally ordered it, but um, I'll get around to what it is anyway. Uh, short, short order. Okay, so as you see, we've got some TPU parts, camera, top, and the back for an antenna or so forth. Two side plates for a cage that obviously builds a structure with the TPU parts. Some nylon standoffs in here for your stack which is a 30 by 30 standard form factor three columns here these um they go in here and build the structure so much like this this is a stretched x for five inch it may fit other props uh, but until I build it out, I can't really um, say for certain. The carbon itself is really nice. It's rounded everywhere. Um, it looks really, really nicely milled, surprisingly. Um, you can't fault it. Three and a half mil unibody. And the cage parts of three and a half mil as well. The other thing to note, it's got nice countersunk stack mount here um, which is where these silver screws come in so with that let's stick it together so this is the completed frame for the most part this back section gives you a couple of options you can either have it like this and cut a slit into this and feed your 5.8 antenna into it or you can um, mount it with these different carbon pieces for the Unify Pro, standard SMA pigtails uh, and anything else you might want. The front slots in with a friction fit got a couple of dogs here that slot in and then it's a M3 no lock and bolt but just hold this down it's more just to keep it affixed it's not structural in that sense oh, it's quite a good idea um, give it a quick throw on the scales 107 grams yeah so this is the Puda or Puda C240 frame. You'll need to mount a FPV camera up front, obviously, but you've got these slots milled in here that will take a 1177 style bracket, Swift, Swift 2, um, a split perhaps. Um, it gives you a bit of scope for angle, which you're going to need. Obviously, this is stretched, orientated for racing. Um, the carbon feels very very rigid it's going to be quite a tight build in there uh, but you'll get a transmitter or a video transmitter up at inside here and a bit of space at the back for say a RXSR or even a any other smaller style receiver slots for cable tie nice battery velcro strap slots beveled all looks of it yeah this is going to be a nice little build i've got some um sam dys sam goods on the way obviously they're really stout i think i put out about 1.4 kg of thrust uh best case scenario so build this up with some all in one and Maybe a unifier or a tramp. 
This is going to go like a rocket. Addressing the elephant in the room. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but I'd obviously seen it before. And having a look at it through the window of the packaging, it's a Flynoceros, isn't it? Um, Cerberus V2. Um, it's a bit sad. So it is, unlike the real AC uh, purple that I've recently done, this is a direct clone, but it's a third of the price, if not a quarter. Um, I'll put a link to the 3D printable parts here. These are quite nicely printed. Um, you get cable ties through the top to secure things. Um, yeah. It's for C240 frame. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, I'll be building this very, very soon with a all-in-one F4 board. Uh, 30 amp BSC. Maybe put a split on it. Thanks for watching. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Be happy to answer them. Uh, there will be a discount code down the bottom with the link. Happy Christmas. Yo, Pele. Hey!